Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Anna Mae and today's video is going to be about how you can make your own monogram cushion. This is the finished product for my own monogram and in this video I will show you how you can recreate this with your monogram using just a simple cushion cover and fabric paint. So let's just get started. So we're going to start off this DIY with a plain 100% cotton cushion cover. I got mine at a local discount store and for the monogram, I printed mine off. It was a screenshot um, from a website I will link down below. I believe it's Mark and Graham, and they do a few different formats. That is a little exacto knife that I just placed there that I'm going to be using to cut out the monogram. The fabric paint I chose was from Dylon. It was just white. I got it again in Range in Limerick, which I talk about in another haul. Got a lot of stuff there, and. To cut out the monogram, I obviously have my X-Acto knife and I have a hardback copy so it wouldn't cut into my post poster board because I use that for plan with me's. So I just cut out and um, I did all the little curved edges at first and then I brought in a ruler so that I could get some nice straight edges um, for some of the letters. Uh, you know, using a stencil like this, using paper instead of card and things like that isn't going to give you a perfect perfect monogram but you know there you go <laughs> um i left a little bit of the a you can see there so that the center of the letter stays perfectly central and i definitely suggest doing that if you have time or if you have a middle part of a letter like i do um just to make sure everything stays nice and even and you can just fill it in freehand afterwards um the, I was just trying to center this as best as I could and after I was done figuring out how to center it if you watch it over there I like folded it a few times to find the center and then put a pencil mark and then measured you know just made sure it was pretty much even again I wasn't too fussy about this being so exact if I wanted a perfect cushion cover I would have bought one on Etsy so I just thought I would try and do it myself so I used washi tape to tape it down and I taped down actually some of the little corners and stuff in the inside you might see me do that in a second um, and I put the hardback co copy underneath as well because the paint would leak through because it is just 100% cotton and you can see I'm just sticking down the center bits there as well and um, the washi tape wouldn't leave any residue so that's why I chose to use that and then I went in with the paint so I you know the fabric absorbs a lot of the paint so you do have to be careful as to how you apply it and you know so it doesn't get too messy but I just used a flat paintbrush um just a really cheap paintbrush I have a lot of them and I just filled in the letters and made sure to press down on the stencil when I was going near the edges so that it wouldn't leak as much I did have a few little slip ups as I said before it didn't turn out perfect but I am still very happy with how it did turn out that's something that you can be careful of you know yourself you could always just trace the monogram after you've cut it out and then fill it in freehand but I kind of did that afterwards as well so I just continue to fill all of this in and yeah you know it worked out pretty well it did say that I should you know iron over it after every coat but because the the fabric was absorbing so much of the paint I didn't really understand like what was one coat or not so I just kept applying it until I was happy enough with the color as you can see it didn't turn out like bright bright white um but that's to be expected it's fabric paint on a dark gray so you know again if I wanted a perfect I would have bought one on Etsy and um I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I did have to iron it afterwards you just put a clean cloth on top and iron over it but I don't think it's that difficult to do um, once I was done with this I let it dry with the stencil on uh, so as to not blur anything and then just pulled off the stencil and you know ironed it and put it on the cushion so I hope your cushion turned out as well as mine did. I think it looks so, so cute. And I can't wait to put it on my bed this year in college. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, the next couple of videos might be relating to college room decor and I'm really excited with what I'm putting into my room this year. So definitely subscribe to see more stuff like that and I will see you in my next video.